Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the class. Hello, hello. Welcome. If you're a Verbling Premium member, go ahead and join the class. Like Jasmine Sefia. Hi Jasmine, how are you? Hi Abby. How are you? I'm, I'm really fine. good. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You were in my last class, but only in the chat. Yeah, actually, early when you when you was on Verbling, I joined you, you you a class before. Okay, very good. Well, welcome class after back. Mo yeah, thank you. I'm very happy to see you again. That looks like a beautiful picture. Where are you in that picture? In United Arab Emirates. Where is that? Middle East. Middle East. Excellent. Very good. And we also have with us. Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Hi. What's going on? Pedro, what's going on? I'm good, Anil. You're what? I'm good. Excellent. Welcome to the class. It's nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay, very good. So you speak Portuguese? Yeah. Very. No, I don't. I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us. Are you new to Verbling, or have you been with us for a while? No, I, I, I just started to try this free premium week, and let's see. I, I had two classes yesterday, and today is my first one. It's my first. Great, that's awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming into the class. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Hel <laughs> Hello, the best. <laughs> the best king. Are you there? Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Hi, how are Hi. you? Fine and you. I'm pretty good, thank you very much. Fine and you, Hi. Where are you from? Where are you from? The yeah, best from uh, France, Paris. Oh, okay, very nice. So from Paris. Tell me something about yourself. What's your name? Let's start with your name. Hi, Wolfie. How are you? Wolfie. Wolfie's not with us yet. What about Samet? Hi, Samet. Hello. How's it going? I'm fine, how about you? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Turkey, very yeah. nice. Thank you for coming to class. Have I met you before? No, 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 it's my first time here with Your you, first I'm here. Well, welcome, my name is Abby. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Hi, Carlos. Oh, is there a Carlos? Yes. Hello? <laughs> Carlos, there you are. Carlos. Hello. How are yeah. you today? I am fine, thank you. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm a Spanish, but currently I'm living in London. In London? What do you do in London? I'm improving my English skill. Improving your English skills. Very nice. Yeah. Hmm. You went all the way to London to improve your English skills. Yes. Wow, that's impressive. You're a very dedicated student. Yes, I'm, I've been living in London for five months, so I need more, more time to develop. Very good. Yes, it takes time to learn a language, so be yes. easy on yourself. Yes. Well, <laughs> sometimes. 
Great. Well, thank you for coming to class. Hi, Gustavo. Uh, hi, Abby. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Awesome. It's good to see you again. Very nice. And what is new? What have you been doing over the weekend so far? Um, no much, actually. Um, reading a, reading a lot and something like that. No, 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 no do you plan much, to do there. anything fun this weekend? Um, no. No. <laughs> no. You gotta do something fun on the weekend. Mm, well, uh, something fun for me is um, read a book. I, I, I don't see, like to. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like to uh, go outside uh, much. Much. Okay. Well, you can, you stick to those books. It looks like you have a lot of work to do, a lot of reading. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Juan Estrada, how are you? I'm stoked, teacher. What about you? You're stoked. Did you say you're stoked? Stoked. Stoked. Why are you so down at the chat? Code. I see that. Why are you stoked? Because it's a slang for being happy. Wonderful. Why are you so happy? Because I'm learning a lot of English. You are. And where are you from? I can't remember. I'm from the land of the burritos, teacher. <laughs> from Mexico. <laughs> Juan, you changed your picture so I don't recognize you. Yes, I, I understand. Everything but I've had you being, before. Everything is being honky dory, teacher. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's honky dory with me as well. Excellent job. Thanks for coming into class. Mina, how are you? Hey, Miss Abby. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking. What's new? What are you doing this weekend? Um, nothing. I met a new friend online and uh, spent some time talking to her. Very good. And what's your friend's name? Or do you not want to say? No, she, she, her name is Anna. Anna. And are you practicing English with Anna? Well, I teach her Arabic. You teach her Arabic. Very good. She's got a yeah. lot of work to do. What I are you up to? I think she'll be a better... Um, not too much. I'm Why teaching not? today. <laughs> well, you know, I'll take yeah. it as it comes. Okay. <laughs> I hope that your student, Anna, is better than me with pronouncing Arabic words. I don't want it to be too hard on you. No, no, both of you are great. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is everybody, except for Wolfie. He never responded. Wolfie, are you there? We need you for our debate. We cannot debate without Wolfie. No, Wolfie, we can't hear you. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how's it going? Fine, fine. I'm doing sort of good. Thanks for so Excellent. So if I say no, you have to say yes. And if I say yes, you have to say no. Sorry, because I didn't... We are playing. It means that Wolfie is a very good debater. He's not afraid to go against the crowd. That's why we love him in class. I'm not claiming that you are saying that. You're a good debater. I see, but I am not claim. You are saying. I'm not what? I'm not. I am not. I'm not claiming. I'm a good debater. I am. You are saying. I am saying it. I am. I solemnly swear that Wolfie is a good debater. <laughs> Welcome Thanks. everybody. Welcome to the class. Who would like to tell us what we are going to talk about 
two days. Who's going to tell us? Dogs. Pit bull. Pit bull. So I would like Pitbull to show you. is a singer, you... right? A singer? I, that's a good question, Yasin. I'm not sure if he's a singer. I'm not sure. Pitbull. Oh, maybe yes. Actually, yes. I've heard it before. But I think maybe he's not my style. Me too. What's your <laughs> style, teacher? Um, I'd like maybe a little bit of, I like music that's a little bit more suave. I'm not really into stuff like that. But I like all kinds of music. So, for the class to warm up, I would like to um, introduce my child. Nobody knew that I was a mother. Who oh, knew really? that I was a mom? So I'm going to show my child to you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are kidding, Abby. It's a pug, right? This is my pit bull. <laughs> and her name is Lucy. <laughs> and she looks just like her mom. <laughs> so who else has a pet dog? Pedro, Abby, he do you is ugly, a... but you are beautiful. <laughs> No, she's not. <laughs> he is ugly, but Abby is beautiful. That's Lucy. Lucy. So, who can tell us about their pets? Pedro, let's start with you. Do you have any pets? I don't have uh, here in my house. I just moved it out of my parents' house, and there we got one a little dog. What kind of dog? It's, I, I don't know how to say in English that uh, she's, she, she, does, she, did, she doesn't have a, a race, so I, I don't know how to say that in English. A mutt. 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 M-U-T-T. -T. A mutt yeah. dog is a dog that is, is so mixed with so many yeah. breeds that it is just... Yeah. Uh, she's like a mix of um, Cocker Spaniel and sort of fox terrier. Okay, fox terrier. So we actually would not call her a mutt then, you'd call her a mixed breed. A mixed breed, okay? Okay. A, the difference between a mutt and a mixed breed is that a mutt, you don't know what it is, but a mixed breed, you know generally what kind of dog it is, okay? Okay, nice. <laughs> There's a lot of dog haters in the chat. I'm surprised. I'm well, I'm surprised. Um, Canadians love dogs. People in Canada love dogs. In fact, there's people who have set up companies to protect animals. It's almost ridiculous to the other extreme. But I can see there's a lot of people who hate dogs in the chat. So You might not like this class. What about you, Gustavo? Do you have any pets? Yes, I have three pets, three dogs. <gasps> That's wonderful. What kind of dogs do you have? The one is a Bichon Frise, uh, the other is a French Poodle, and the most crazy uh, of all is a mixed dog. A mixed dog, and he's crazy. Yeah. Yes, he's much, much, much crazy than me. <laughs> Wonderful. That's great. Who else would like to tell us about their pets? Who has any pets? I own. Okay, go ahead, Jason. Yes, it's Yasin. Actually, I had a lot of pets. Hamster, cat, uh, bird, canary bird, also mm -hmm. fish. And fish. So you're an animal lover. Other. Yeah, of course. Uh, I had a cat. She gave birth for seven kittens. It was Turkish Angora, white kitten. It was very fun. Awesome. That's great. It sounds like you have a, a whole assortment of different kinds of animals. Anyone yeah, have an, animals. anyone have any other kinds of pets that are maybe a little bit unusual? A pet that you might not normally see? Zebra. Turtle. 
<laughs> a zebra. Who has a zebra? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's lying. Somebody's not telling the truth. Uh, me, who me? I, I, I haven't spoken at all. Uh, well, I have. I have a cow here. If, if you like, I show you. A cow? A little cow. Yeah, this is my little pet. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to eat him, are you? <laughs> Sorry? You're not going to eat that pet, are you? No, 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 I'm not going to eat her. I'm, I'm just going to feed her and uh, milk her, you know, in the future. Okay, so she's like yeah. your prize so, cow. So cute, you know. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, you guys. That's awesome. So obviously today we're talking about something a little bit different. We're talking about a pit bull terrier. Now what's the difference between a pit bull and a chihuahua? Maybe we could get um, Carlos Rovina yes. to explain. What's the difference between a pit bull and a chihuahua? What are some of the differences? Um, the difference is, the <laughs> for example, chihuahua is a, a smaller mm -hmm. pet. Is more is not dangerous for uh, most people, I think. I don't know explain the that's, big difference. That is the big difference, the size. That's a huge difference. The size, difference. yes. The pit bull is stronger also. Very they good. Any other differences? Are stronger. I know Chihuahua is for shows and Actress has, all, all actress has chihuahua dogs. Who can think of an actress that has a chihuahua with her all the time? Chihuahua is like a pet, e a toy. Very good, yeah. Ana Montana. Good. And chihuahua is so, are so ugly. They're so what? Ugly. I know, not like Lucy, not like my dog, who's very no. beautiful. <laughs> My dog no, is. She's not. <laughs> it's, she's uh, really ugly. My I dog swear. is so ugly that she's cute. Okay, <laughs> that, that's what I've come up with. I actually have two dogs. The next class, I will show you the other dog if you're nice about Lucy. Okay. Do you like cats? I love dogs. Wolfie. Are you with yes. us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening what, do you, what do you think about this? What do you think is a better house pet, a chihuahua or a pit bull? But first of all, is I think pit bull is genetically uh, coded. Yeah, I, am I right? Because is a pit bull is a uh, is not normal dog. It's a, it has been come from laboratory. It's, a, it's aggressive. Okay, but in, very good. In, my, in, in my opinion, I, I don't have any pets also. It's a pets I think belongs to nature. I mean all animals. In my opinion. In your opinion what? Can you repeat that last part? In my opinion all animals belongs to the nature. Mm -hmm. Very good. But I think you bring up a good point, Wolfie, that pitbulls were um, almost like they were designed. By different people, right? Who can who knows where pit bulls came from, or who decided to breed that that dog? What were from they bred U for? From U UK. Okay, is that what you think? Yes. And why were they bred? Um, because um. Um, they want to oh, the fun. dogs fight each other. Mm -hmm. They were bred and for fighting. Yes. Excellent. Very good. And somebody mentions that the dog whisperer Cesar Milan has a pit bull, and he's not feisty. Juan, who's, who said that? Somebody in the chat or someone in the class? Okay. So that's... Uh, Abby, what is mm -hmm. that, that file you... Posted on chat that PDF papers. That is that is what we're going to be discussing today in class. Oh, okay. Okay. 
we're going to be looking at that together in just a moment. So let's um, get started. Okay, who would like to read? I would. You'd like to read, or would you like to answer question number three? I would like to question. Read. Okay, let's wait then. Question number two says, "Are you afraid of any kind of dog? And if so, what kind of dog scares you? Who here is afraid of dogs?" I am. In general you, way, I'm not afraid of dogs, but uh, when uh, when you see a a, a a really huge dog <laughs> that you don't know. Uh, you might be scared of. Yeah, that's true, right? Because it could be very powerful, right? You never know what the dog's personality is. Anyone else afraid of dogs sometimes? Or maybe they they feel nervous? Yes, I do. Why, Mina? A couple of days ago, I was walking the street, and there was this dog is following me, and he's barking uh, a lot. And when I, I try to walk, he walks after me. When I stop, he stops. And uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was trying. I, I was trying to look him, stare at his eyes, to show him that I'm not scared. But uh, and he was laughing. Nobody, uh, no, interfered to save me. I would have saved you, Mina. I definitely <laughs> would have saved you. <laughs> Just for the future, never look a dog in the eyes. <laughs> oh, why you didn't tell me that before? <laughs> never look a dog in the eyes. That's like saying, bring it on. I want to fight. Never look at a dog in the eyes. Because when I run, he will run after me. Yeah, just keep going. Ignore him. Ah, I see. He, he probably thought you smelled good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you learn that on... Um, Cesar Milan show? I love oh, Cesar Milan. Great. That's my favorite. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good show for sure, Pedro. Okay, what yeah, about Pitbull? Uh, Pitbulls have a bad reputation. If you look mm -hmm. at the news, they can easily kill you. Actually, in fact, Pitbulls have been killed kids, a lot of kids, mm -hmm. if you look at the news. I'm afraid of Pitbulls because this is basically he, or he can or she kill you. Excellent yes. point of view, that's true. In UK, five days ago, a girl was found dead by dog at attacks. So it happens, right? That's the whole point. It here does is the link. Yeah, here is the link. I think 14 years old, a girl was attacked for five dogs, terrorists. Terrible, right? Because uh, uh, she was eating a pie, a meat pie. Uh, the dog they wanted to eat. It was was terrible. Yes, now it's a problem here in UK about this problem. That's. I'm not laughing at the story. I'm laughing at Jesse. Yeah, yeah. It's sad, that's man. That's terrible, though, nah, Carlos. Yeah hear things like that in the news a lot. It's very, very common, right? I have been attacked by dogs before. I know that it's very, very scary. Yeah, I think the problem was the dogs uh, were a pack. When they are a pack, I think they are more, they are stronger. Um, Definitely. Attack like a, I don't know, maybe. Absolutely. No, you're correct. You're very correct. But in looking in its dog's eyes is not going to work always. Mm -mm. It will it's never not, work. It's not good idea sometimes. I'm afraid because it doesn't work. Because dogs is really related to his owner. owner their owner trained train them. Because if their owner give you a strict order, dogs easily bite you. Exactly. That's a good point that Wolfie brings out. Do you know a lot about dogs, Wolfie? No, like ordinary person. <laughs> Very good. Okay, well, let's start reading. I think it was Justine. You wanted to read, right? Yeah. Can you read the first paragraph under banning pitbulls? Any questions on what that means to 
ban pit bulls? To ban? No, to be prohibited? Sorry? To ban means to be prohibited, not allowed? Exactly. To restrict or to prohibit, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. I wanna, I'm going to read. Yes, go ahead. Read that first paragraph for us. Okay, okay. In October 2004, the province of Ontario, Canada, announced that it plans to ban pit bull dogs. According to the new law, it will be illegal to own, buy, sell, breed, or import this kind of dog. Okay, very good. So, Jasmine, can you stay with me just for a second and answer the question, what is happening in Ontario, Canada, in your own words? Prohibiting breeding dogs and handling with it, with pit bull kind, mm -hmm. type. Very good. What does it mean to breed a dog? What does that mean, to breed to a make dog? make children. Exactly. Very good. Wonderful. Any questions on the vocabulary for there? Gustavo. Yes, Avi. In Colombia, are there any laws against owning or having a certain kind of pet? Uh, in my country? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, in Bogota, uh, mostly, um, they, there are uh, there is a law um, that. Uh, uh, no, it's not allowed to have uh, these uh, dangerous dogs like pit bulls or rottweilers uh, without a chain okay. and this kind of mask. Uh, I don't know how to say it. A muzzle. Huh? A muzzle. Muzzle. Okay. Muzzle. Yes. Yeah. Um, and if if the this dog uh, uh, bites someone, uh, the owner of this dog uh, must to pay uh, must to pay money. Um, in in Bogota is most uh, strict this, but uh, for instance in my city, this not uh, people work with his dog in without chain in. I here no is no more is not strict here. Mm, yeah, so maybe they don't enforce the law, right? Yes. Very good, excellent expressions there. Any uh, anyone else want to share what it's like in their country? If their country is different, let me just take a minute to introduce Alina. Hi, Alina, are you with us? Hi, uh, hi, Abby. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Russia. From Russia, very good. I'm going to put the document into the chat again so you can join yes, us. Yes, I okay? already opened it. Perfect. Do you have any pets, Alina? Uh, no, I don't have any pets, but I uh, lo uh, love dogs very much. Oh, that means we can be friends because you like dogs. <laughs> yes. What about you, Arthur? Welcome to the class, Arthur. Arthur is not quite with us yet. That's okay. All right, let's continue. Ahmed, is that you in the chat? Oh, Ahmed's only 15. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Who would like to read the next paragraph? I do. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The new law will allow people who currently own pit bulls to keep their dogs, but only under very strict rules. These dogs will have to be muzzled and on lashes. New ownership will be completely banned throughout the province. The law will also place se severe restrictions and penalties on irresponsible owners of all breeds. Dog owners who break the new law may have to pay fines of $10,000 or spend up to six months in jail. Excellent. Very good. So, Wolfie, what do you think about these restrictions? 
What's your opinion on the restrictions in Ontario, Canada? Ten thousand dollar is not enough because a lot of people use their pit bull in a bad way. Especially if you look at uh, they use their pit bull for dog, dog fighting. They use like they use the gambling because uh, ten thousand uh, dollar doesn't restrict their attitude. They easily pay they uh, this amount of money. It's not restriction. It's just sounds like a bribe for me. Okay, very good. You know what we call that, Wolfie, an expression in English? We'd say it's a slap on the wrist. Have you heard that before? No. I never when, a pen when a penalty is not good enough, when it's too light, we say it's a slap on the wrist. Meaning that it's a very minor penalty. That it's not a big deal. Slap on the wrist. Yeah, and that's a very common expression. A slap on the wrist. Oh, thank you, Mina. He's already got it. I have a question. Of course. Go ahead. Uh, so why Canada is banning this type of dog? Why, sorry? Why do Canada uh, prohibiting this type of dog? That's a good question. I think the article goes on to describe it. Um, in the next paragraph, we're going to learn about why, okay? Okay, Jasin, And then I'll ask okay. you what you think after we read it. Samit. Yes, sir. What do you think about having a dog, um, a, like a pit bull, on a with a muzzle or a, or a leash? Do you think that's fair? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it, should, it would be it would be useful and it would be able to prevent the other people's life because they are very dangerous animals, mm -hmm. and we should use uh, muzzles and leashes. I think. Okay, very good. Now, what do you think of an owner? who has a dog who's very vicious. What does that tell you about the owner? What do you think? What's your opinion? Uh, I don't know the meaning of vicious. Wait a second, what is it? A leash is like when you put something around a dog's neck and then you have a rope to control uh, Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, thought, I thought you just said, uh, you just said vicious, that's why I said. I um, um, but without, without a leash, uh, you know, it would be uh, well, I don't know what to say about this. Because it wouldn't Who? be appropriate, I think. Okay, very good. Mina, if you have a dog who's really vicious and out of control, what do you think that says about the owner? Uh, if, if I have dog, if someone uh, have, who, if somebody who ha has, yeah. Let's say somebody has a dog that's very vicious. Yeah. Out of control. Maybe it attacks people. What do you think that says about the owner? What kind of person is the owner? Well, uh, I, uh, I, I won't condemn the owner. I would go and be his friend, and I would get this dog him to terrify my friends. <laughs> That's awful. Now when I say what does that tell you about the owner, it's like saying what does that show about the owner's character? Uh, it, sh it shows that, uh, oh man, uh, this guy should be my friend. Okay, that's how you feel. Yeah. Anyone else have a different opinion? Alina, what do you think of owners who have vicious dogs? Sometimes they think that uh, they are cowards. You know, uh, I'm I'm too small and too weak, and maybe this dog can protect me. Very good. Yeah, maybe they use their dog to give them that macho personality, right? That's a really good point. Very good. What, what is the word uh, uh, that you are using? Vicious dog. Vicious. 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 Kind of wicked. Can you write it down? Angry. Yeah, vicious is like extreme aggression. Vicious dog. A vicious, vicious dog is a dog who is extremely aggressive. It attacks you. You cannot trust it. If you turn your back on it like Mino is doing, maybe the dog will come up behind him and bite him. <laughs> okay. Evil. <laughs>
Mina, no more walking down the street with that nice cologne. <laughs> <laughs> A I understand, though. by the way. I understand. I feel sorry for that dog. I think you must have been torturing it. You were tormenting him. <laughs> no. He was small, but his voice was so loud. He was small. Okay, now the truth is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> no more information for you. <laughs> he was small and he had no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but voice. Loud voice. Oh, poor Mina. <clears throat> That bad dog. Okay, very can, good. Can I, ask, can I ask you something? Of course you can, Wolfie. Yeah. If dogs release his muscles, what will happen? If a dog what? If dog release his muscles, what will happen? It's not restriction. I mean, because people feel a strong teeth, they can easily free their muscles from their muscles. Oh, do you mean their jaw muscles? No, no. No, he means muscles. Muscles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said muscles. Sorry to my pronunciation. Just, I just asked if dogs release their muscles, what will happen? It's not restriction because people with really strong teeth and chin is not going to stop that. So what do you think, Gustavo? Is a muzzle 100% secure? Um, it depends on the muscle, because there are uh, uh, much that is uh, that they aren't safe enough, but there are other others that uh, are good for the dogs more dangerous. Uh, there are special muscles. Okay, very good. I'm going to teach you a new expression in English. Okay, it's. Put a muzzle on it. Pedro, what does it mean if I say, hey, Pedro, put a muzzle on it? Um, uh, muzzle to shut up. Time, uh, don't bother me. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, shut shut up. up. Shut up. Be quiet. So there's an expression you guys can use. Put a muzzle on it, Mina. Silence. <laughs> Justine, put a muzzle on it. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Great work, you guys. A new, a new expression, but don't go and say that to your boss. You might be in big trouble. Or your mother. She might slap you, give you a slap on the wrist. Okay, let's continue. Pedro, could you read the next paragraph for us, starting with a number of? Okay. Um, a number of very serious pitbull attacks in Ontario caused the government to take this action. In one situation, a man was attacked by two pit bulls and it was necessary for the police to fire over a dozen bullets before the attack stopped. According to Michael Bryant, the Attorney General of Ontario, the man was practically eaten alive from the ankles up. In another recent case, a three-year-old child needed over 200 stitches to close the wounds he suffered in a pit bull attack. Excellent. Good reading, Pedro. Can I get you to repeat this word? It's wound. Wound. Get injured. Wound. Can you repeat that, Pedro? Wound. Perfect. Wound. Very, very good. So, Jacine, go ahead and answer your own question. Why is Ontario thinking of banning pit bull? We because Bitboard is evil type of dogs. Oh, I don't agree 100%, but what have they been known to do? They shot it in the head by a fire. They take, they take a bullet pretty good, don't they? They take bullets. They shot at them on the head. They shot them in the head. Very good. Why did they have to shoot them in the head? Because Dim they are ugly. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Dem? Is it Demler? Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Okay. 
Um, Why is, what's happened here? What did the pit bulls do that created such a big stir? Um, excuse me, can you repeat it? What did the pit bulls do to this poor man? Oh, I just arrived um, okay. here, so I didn't... Sorry, um, I thought you were there yes. for a while. You can go ahead and take a look at the PDF document in the chat, okay, yeah, yeah. and I'll come, I'll come back to you. Um, what about you, Alina? What did the pit bulls do, and why do you think Canada has decided to perhaps pass a law regarding what they did? Uh, because uh, some people uh, keep uh, pit bulls, but uh, they don't uh, take uh, all needed care about them. Uh, I think that uh, pit bulls are very strong dogs, and they maybe they need the special exercise. And I know that even uh, Husky, such a cute dog, they are very... Um, uh, they have a lot of energy, and if uh, their owner don't uh, walk with them enough, they just crash uh, the owner's house. But uh, Pitbull is not uh, so cute as Husky, and uh, he just bites people. Okay, that's a good, that's a good point, Alina. I 100% agree with you. I think if a dog has enough energy, or enough exercise that it would be better, right? Now we call. Right. Go ahead. No, can I can I say something? Of course you can. Uh, I think that um, uh, I think it's a tough measure uh, to take one breed like uh, responsible for for certain things. I mean, I think that uh, the the behavior with the dogs. Uh, might be similar to the kids. Oh, I mean, the owner, it's up to the owner uh, to take care of it. I mean, you know, and don't uh, ban uh, some breed because of some kind of uh, usual behavior of that dog. Because the dog has been, uh, uh, can be trained for it. I agree with you. I think if a dog is bad, it's because the owner is bad, and I really, truly believe that. But sorry, you can't say this for dogs, but you can't say this for pit bulls, because pit bulls, I mean, untrustable. I mean, you can't trust a pit bull 100%, because if you look at the zoo, tigers, uh, uh, strict, uh, really, you can't uh, train the tiger. You look at the tiger's keeper, but you can't allow the tiger in the city. Because you can trust a tiger, you can easily tiger listen their keepers' words. They train them, but you can trust them. Pitbull, it's like a tiger. You can hundred percent the pitbulls. Their okay. action is not really trustable. I mean, uh, I agree with Wolf, and uh, I really think that uh, pitbulls are dangerous. Even if they are well trained, because uh, I heard about uh, occasions when. Pitbulls got crazy without practically any reason. What, what, let's continue this. Who else wants to add what they think about that? I've told that I uh, agreed with Wolf uh, that uh, pitbulls uh, are dangerous even they uh, got in, uh, got uh, good, mm -hmm. even they have enough exercises, and uh, sometimes pe uh, pit bulls uh, bite uh, people without any reason. Very good, and you know what? It makes me think of a phrasal verb to turn on. Now, sometimes we think turn on that means to turn on the lights or make you have energy suddenly. However, when we use it like this, it may turn on you. Does anyone know what that means? If I said to you, a pit bull might turn on you? Attack. Attack. Very good. Has anyone heard that expression before? What? What if I said, Sam it? <laughs> What's the question? Sam, if I said to you, you know, me and Alina 
we used to be really good friends, but then she yeah. turned on me. So she, maybe you broke up. You broke up. You don't. You don't. You don't talk to each other anymore. Exactly right. So you right. could use it with friendships. You could yeah. use it with um, relationships, oh. and you can use it with animals. They turn on you. They go from being your friend to suddenly mm -hmm. attacking you. Right. That's right. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, let's continue. Alina, would you like to read the next paragraph for us? Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, before reaching its decision to ban pitbulls, the Ontario government spent several months uh, meeting with different groups on opposite sides of the debate. Since the government made its announcement, uh, there has been mixed reaction among the people of Ontario. Many people are delighted with the new law. However, pitbull owners as well as many other dog owners are not happy. They believe that the problem problem is not to the breed of dog. They think uh, that dogs only become vicious when they have uh, ir irresponsible owners. Excellent reading. Very good pronunciation, Alina. You did an Thank awesome you. job with that. So did you do you think that people would take this announcement easily? What do you think, Gustavo? Do you think people in general will say, "Okay, if you want to ban pit bulls, that's no problem." What do you think the general reaction from the public will be? Um, I think the person that uh, have this kind of dogs, uh, they don't agree with this law, this kind of, of law. Mm. Yeah, because mm, I think the, the most important in in, in the dog's behavior is um, uh, the way in the owner uh, uh, rice 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 it when it. they are younger. Raises it when it is younger. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all the dogs. Uh, all, all the people's the pit bulls don't bat uh, dogs. Okay, very good. So Gustavo, we're gonna do like a what would you do if game? Okay. What would you do if you were walking down the street and in the distance, in front of you, you see a pit bull walking around? What would you do? Hmm. I try to um, look if the owner of the dog is near to, to the dog mm -hmm. and uh, also the behavior of the dog also. Okay, what kind of behavior would you look for? What would you try to see? Um, if the dog feel uh, um, try to uh, get near to me suddenly, mm -hmm. or the dog is uh, looking for all the environment surrounded. Okay, very good. What other signs of behavior would you look for, Pedro? What would you look for? What signs of behavior? Um, I I I actually don't think that I would uh, look for some. Behaviors. <laughs> yeah, what uh, would you do? Because, I mean, the bad situation is if the if it have a, a bad behavior, an aggressive behavior, and then uh, there's not. I think there's nothing to do. It. I mean, I I never I'd never uh, think uh, thinking run away. I think uh, probably uh, look for. Some in the looking looking for some other things in the context, like a place to hide or something to uh, use to defend me. Okay, very good. So you might source out some help. Yeah, in case of some attack. But um, uh, well, that's it. <laughs> no, that's very good. Does anyone else want to share what they would do if they were in that situation? Well, uh, I would turn my back 
cross the other street and will not have a will not look at him and just go away. I agree. I'd probably do the same thing as Samet. Maybe I would be like, oh, and I would slowly back away, and then maybe I would yeah, go. And go. What was that, Samet? Uh, you shouldn't look in the eye, as you said before. So I will yeah. look in the eye and just go. Just leave her for him, whatever. Very good. That's what Mina does when he sees a dog. Yes. It's a little bit scary, don't you think? Good job, you guys. Very good. Okay, let's continue with our reading. Let's go back to um, Demler. Yeah, um, I continue uh, where? Before reaching a decision? Um, no, while Ontario will while be. While Ontario first. will be. Okay. Um, while Ontario will be the first uh, province in Canada to ban pit, pit birds, some series have already done so. In 1990, uh, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, it's um, Manitoba, um, became the first Canadian city to ban pit birds, according to a Winnipeg city official. The number of pit birds attacked has decreased from uh, 25 in 1989 to zero this year. There are similar bands in France, Britain, and Germany. Wonderful. Really good reading. Excellent job with that. So, is this the first time that Canada has maybe seen something like this, or what has actually happened? No. Um, uh, there was uh, in in 1990, no. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know the the city. Winnipeg, it's it's a city or it's a town. Winnipeg is a city. Yes. Okay, so uh, they uh, they take this decision, and now uh, this has spread. This decision is um, was taken from more. Uh, series now, and now the attacks uh, are decreased. Excellent, very good. So it's pretty obvious. I mean, less pit bulls, less pit bull attacks, right? But it obviously shows that it made a difference, and that's important if it means someone's life or someone's health, right? Yeah. There is All a, right. There is a there is a still risk. You What's can't the be, risk? Yeah. You can be killed by pit bull. Maybe your next target. Few. Yeah, you never know. But I think, but look at some cities. Some cities really uh, low crime rate. But you can't release the criminals. You can't. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think I, should I, happen, I, Wolfie? What do you think should happen to a pit bull who does attack somebody? What do you mean by that? Is that they could be able to kill the person? Okay, so let's. I let's think it's very, very important because killing someone is what is important. So, do you think that if a dog, if a pit bull, one of the questions in the article is if a dog attacks someone, do you think the dog should be destroyed? What do you think, Wolfie? I don't know. It's because, yeah, because victims uh, uh, right to ask for this. Because imagine, imagine yourself. What would what would you do if people kill your kids? What will your reaction? I mean, what will you, what will your reaction if people will kill your kids? Exactly, right? That's the point. So I think I would say yes to that question. I would say <laughs> I would say if a dog attacks somebody will be it should be put to sleep, which means they should receive an injection to kill the dog. That's my honest opinion. What's your opinion on that topic, Alina? What do you think should happen to a dog? 
uh, I do think I think so that uh, the dog uh, should be killed or you know destroyed. The dog should be destroyed. Yeah, I agree. It's, it makes sense, right? Because like Wolfie says, what if it's a child, and what if the next time it happens, it's very serious? And do you know that uh, sometimes uh, these dogs uh, can have uh, puppies, and these pu puppies must be uh, as aggressive as their parents. And it just creates more and more problems. Very good yeah. point. Okay, you know, yes. I think is a pit bull is not responsible. Also, victim is not responsible. I think responsible is who making the law. You can prevent this if these people prevent. Uh, I mean, ban the pit bulls. This. Uh, this will never happen if take I mean if authorities take a precaution precaution I mean make a law ban the pit bulls they prevent the, this decisions mm -hmm. uh, okay very good a precaution so something yep. that they could do in, in advance yeah b before it's happening the authorities need to take a pre pre precaution before uh, this will happen. Very good. Excellent. All right. Well, let's continue. Mina, could you read the last paragraph for us? Sure. According to some studies that were done in the United States, pit bulls make up only 1 to 3 percent of the overall dog's population, but they cause more than 50 percent of all serious dog attacks. Excellent. Reading. Very, very good. So, Lucas, what do those results tell us? What do those statistics tell us? What information do we get? Lucas, are you with us? Okay, what about you, Pedro? What do the statistics tell us? The statistics. Um, uh, well, the statistic is what is described. But <laughs> I mean that pit bulls uh, have a more participation in the dog attacks, but uh, probably because, uh, like we are, we were talking about early. Probably because uh, pit bulls have the worst owners. <laughs> Yeah, and I think what happens is pit bull or people who are into aggression and fighting and those are the people who are attracted to the breed for what the breed stands yeah. for. So as a result of that, the pit bull becomes aggressive because that's how it's trained. That's what I think. Yes. Okay. Well, because of that, I think that um, the, the laws uh, should be made to punish to uh, make a, a hard punishment to the owners, but mm -hmm. but not to the dogs. I don't I don't feel I don't agree with the with uh, killing the dogs. That kill killing someone is mm -hmm. like the same discussion about death penalties. But okay. uh, yeah, just I want to add one more thing because mm -hmm. bad behavior. I mean bad characteristic to owners. Uh, really dangerous for dogs, but pit bull, but pit bull uh, really become dangerous. Pit bull become murder. But for instance, your dog is very small. Maybe you are bad characteristic. You are really bad behavior uh, toward your dog. But your dog never will be murdered like a pit bull. Hmm. Okay, you guys. We are actually out of time for this debate, but I want to say congratulations. Each of you presented a really good argument. Alina, it was so nice to have another lady in the class. I never <laughs> get ladies you. in the class. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you again. I have to close because I start for the next hour, but I think everybody should say goodbye to Lucy. Say goodbye to Lucy. Goodbye, Lucy. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Get you. Hi, Abby. Thank you. She's beautiful. She is. <laughs> okay, bye, everyone. I have to start the next hour, so I've got to fly. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye -bye. teacher. Thanks a lot.